Hey there, I'm Boss Maxis and this is my first video where I would be recreating one of my old projects. An IR controlled Arduino car. Unlike other tutorials, my content is way better because the code is epic. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'm hoping that you will like and share my video. To begin with, you will need a chasis of your choice, some wheels, and two motors depending on the chasis. And for the motors, I have used 300 kV motor which have a high torque power. Then you would require a caster wheel some screws then you would also require a switch a L298 board RGD you know a IR transmitter and the receiver or the remote You would also require 4 9 volt batteries. I started by attaching the motors onto the chases. Then I screwed on the caster wheel. Then I added the wheels. Later I glued the circuits onto the chases. Then I glue the battery on the underside of the chases. Then I connected the motor and the power connections to the L298 board. Then I connected the Arduino ground and win to the ground at 5 volt of the L298 respectively. Later I connected the in 1 to pin 10 in 2 to pin 11, in 3 to pin 12, and in 4 to pin 13. Then I connected enable A to pin 9, enable B to pin 3. Now before moving on, I recommend to test the circuits now with the L298 motor code. Then. I connected the receiver positive to 5 volt on the Arduino and the, ne and the negative to ground and the S pin to the Arduino pin 6. The final result should look like this. And for running the car, I first opened the code and in the meantime, I connected the Arduino. And always make sure you have selected the board and the port correctly before uploading. Then I uploaded the code and I opened the serial monitor where I could grab the decoded numbers while I am pressing the remote. While in my case I found these numbers when I was pressing the forward button. Now I copied them and I pasted them onto the forward condition. Then re-upload the code again and what's more, behold. The code offers the car to go forward, backward, to rotate,
and I have also for programmed it to do short turns. Thanks for watching the video and also don't forget to subscribe.